commissioners. The first item before you is uh, to provide you with an update with regards to an RFP for graphic design services. You may recall that back in June, after uh, we had advertised for an RFP, we had only received one submittal. And so the board at that time gave a consensus for us to re-advertise re and try to broaden our scope of advertisement. So we have accomplished that by uh, continuing to advertise in the Telegraph, the Gainesville Sun, Demand Star, as well as our county website. Unfortunately, we did not receive any RFPs through the um, bidding uh, uh, time frame. However, we were fortunate enough that um, Trent Patterson with um, showcase signs and advertising uh, came in later that day. Uh, Ms. Whittle had reached out to him to make him aware that the county was interested in receiving an RFP for these type of services. And although he missed the deadline, he did come in later that day and provided us with a proposal of $500 to uh, provide what we had put in our scope of work. Um, he met with us and uh, we we certainly uh, would like to recommend that the board consider approving that RFP. Uh, Mr. Sexton has no objections with the board since we received no proposals through the time frame. Um, so it would not be an issue as far as accepting Mr. Uh, Patterson's uh, proposal. Um, and he's here to speak to the board if you all have any questions with regards to his proposal. Um, we have a great working relationship with Trent. Um, I think he'll do a good job. And it's significantly less than the first proposal that we received. Um, so it's just the board's pleasure, whatever you all would like to direct staff to, to proceed with. I agree. I think you do a good job, too. So I'd like to go ahead and make a motion that we approve. Second. Have a motion. All in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. County Engineer Old Cup. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Board Members. This is the uh, FDOT's Scott program. The road selected 227, Cairo 227 from 301 to uh, we're 18 turns and it takes about four miles. Of course, this was submitted years ago for funding that it was selected put into the program and you have in your package the agreement from the FDOT. So if, if I may, I'll just give you a, a brief description, which I've already done some of that, <laughs> and then ask Mr. Sexton to actually read the resolution. Uh, like I say, this was put into the program several years ago as all of our, this by the FDOT under scrap scop and safety uh, programs. And, uh, probably run into the same thing with this one that the estimate was done before we start doing the CEI uh, and then we've got an additional services. So uh, if I may, I'll ask Mr. Sexton to read the resolution. The resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, approving execution of a small county outreach program agreement with the state of Florida Department of Transportation for the widening and resurfacing of Southwest County Road 227 from Southwest County Road 18 to Southwest State Road 200, providing direction to staff and providing an effective date. In, in your packet, you may read that's 218 and some other things. Uh, I'll just ask you to ignore those. It's, it is 18, County Road 18. I'll make the motion to approve the resolution of read. Are, the, uh, are most of the dump trucks done running that route now? I would say most of them are, yeah. Okay, because that's yeah. kind of the thing. That hill would be closed. That, that's what I was wondering. I hadn't seen many just trucks running. Seen you in a while, yeah. Just, there was just a few trucks uh, about a month ago. Okay. Not, not enough to get concerned about. So okay. right. I, th I think it's a safe state and say most of them. Uh, okay. when, when would this new truck start? We have until the end of next year, almost the end of next year, to have the plans done. And I'm glad you mentioned that because it will require a, a good survey. 
you know, we've got uh, a bad S curve in that road. That I wish we could have done something about that. And the, the drainage along that road, not to mention the cross pipes. Just a fire truck from Hillsborough County, a 2000 E1 Typhoon model Class A pumper. Um, when we purchased it, it had 121,000 miles on it. We used it up until here recently, where the engine had a catastrophic failure. Specifically, the number one cylinder overheated and dropped valves on top of the piston and welded the, the valves of the piston. What's important to know about that is that the at the time of its failure, it had 9,900 hours on it. So getting with E1 and you put a number to the hours of 45 miles per hour, that engine had 445,500 miles on it. It's a great truck. The fire body's in good, good shape. The pump's in good shape. The truck interior's in good shape. Uh, we recently uh, converted it all over to LED, which significantly helped the charging system of the truck. The truck doesn't have a lot of computers on it, and it doesn't have a depth system, the, the uh, environmental control systems for the exhaust. We have the master EBT for the city of Gainesville come over and look at uh, the truck in its dismantled state at Florida Tractor. He agrees to the repair. He, uh, he advises us to go ahead and repair the truck because we will not be able to find a truck of that quality Anywhere in, in Florida, if we buy a new truck, we'll be, uh, we'll be spending this kind of money um, on considerable. Yeah. What year? I, I would like to repair the truck. We have the money. What year? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 2000. To replace the truck, um, again, we'll be looking for a used piece of equipment. I don't think we're going to be able to find a 2000 model E1 Typhoon. E1 is, is the fire truck manufacturer in Ocala. It's relatively close, so we don't have to go far, far for parts. Um, and with the increasing newer trucks, we're getting more into the death problem and we're getting into electronics. And Mr. Taylor, if I might, one reason that we wanted to uh, Clearly, put this uh, to put this on the agenda, even if it was with the, uh, within the uh, range that we could prove. It just seemed to me that we were the board was making a lot of decisions that, that sort of went together. In other words, the fire assessment, uh, this cost, uh, Chief Ware's uh, uh, employment by the uh, temporary agency. Uh, all of that is uh, is really dependent upon the the county pursuing the fire business so to speak so that's the reason we put it on it's, it's that you all have taken uh, the other steps so far so uh, we, we want to put this one in the mix it is if we're going to stay in the fire business I would think chief you would uh, consider it a necessity absolutely
this room. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, items D through L are presentations made by organizations uh, previously, and at this time, we're just asking direction from the board on if you would like to fund those budget requests that have been made. So the first item, item D, is um, a request, or rather seeking direction from the board if you desire to fund the budget request made by the Florida Department of Health in the amount of $10,000 for mental health services. They made their budget presentation on July 19th. Motion to approve. Second. Item E, does the board desire to fund the budget presentation made by concerned citizens of Bradford County in the amount of $10,000? This is an increase of $634. Uh, since fiscal year 12-13, the board has contributed $9,366 to concerned citizens, and this is for operating expenses. They made their budget presentation on August 6th. Item F, does the board desire to fund a budget request for fiscal year 1819 made by the North Florida Regional Chamber of Commerce in the amount of $12,000, $12,500 for services and promotion to small businesses and the community? Um, a budget presentation was made on August 6th. Scenes, and I was not present for that meeting, nor was I present for the meeting before, so I just voted for that, but not being here and not hearing the request in, in moving forward with some of these other items. Is that something that, that I should just not vote on? I'm asking our attorney that question. No, sir, it's okay. okay. If you, the decision is yours as to whether or not you think that the Okay. Should fund the request. You're not obligated to be at the meeting. Okay. Well, I'll second the motion. Okay. I, I know you second the motion. So, would this be an increase thing? Yes. Or this is the same amount you've been getting all the time? desire to fund in fiscal year 1819 budget a request made by fiscal children's services in the amount of five thousand dollars this is the same as <coughs> for the one the budget year that we're currently in for child care programs for low-income parents a budget presentation was made august 6th 